This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stock Rover. Stock Rover is a powerful investment research and analytics tool. In this brief video, I'll focus on what I believe are five key features of Stock Rover. Let's start with the table. Comparison is our specialty. No other site evaluates competing investment opportunities like Stock Rover. The table is designed to help investors compare investment opportunities across many dimensions of financial, operational, and price performance. Stock Rover uses a spreadsheet-like paradigm where the spreadsheet is pre-populated with lots of highly specialized financial data. The table is packed with features and customizable settings such that any investor can completely tailor the table to fulfill their own investment style and needs. The table uniquely compares rows of stocks from any data set. Data sets can be portfolios, watch lists, screener results, indices, and we can add additional tickers to the table for comparative analysis using the quotes feature. Let's add Broadcom. Here we can compare Broadcom to the tickers of the Dow Jones. You can also easily remove quotes from the table. The table is comprised of views which are logically grouped by category. Each view is comprised of a set of columns. Generally, the columns of a view are related by a theme, but they don't have to be. Here, we're looking at the per share view, which is in the fundamentals category. There are about 50 factory views in Stock Rover. Here, I'll show all the factory views. Keep in mind, you can create new views and modify or delete any existing view. There are multiple options for configuring the columns in a view. Notice I can move columns. I can resize columns. I can remove columns. I can add columns. I can even create my own custom metrics. Let's change our view and look at scores. We'll go to the Views folder. We'll pick the Ratings category and select the Scores view. Let's select the Growth score and click on the column heading. We can get an explanation of the metric. We can also filter the column. Let's filter on a Growth score greater than 80. We can sort by growth score simply by clicking on the column heading. Let's group the table by sector. Let's switch to the basic valuation view. We'll go to Views, Valuation Category, and let's select Basic Valuation. Notice how our filter has followed. Let's delete the filter. Let's right-click on Amazon. Notice there are a number of options. Let's select Historical Data. As we can see, the table's spreadsheet paradigm means you can get insights on every row with the most up-to-date price and fundamental data. A second key feature of Stock Rover is screeners. Let's take a closer look at one of Stock Rover's growth at a reasonable price screeners. We'll select the screener and choose Modify Screener. On the right, we see the Screener Manager. Screeners allow you to filter through all of the stocks and ETFs in Stock Rover's investment universe in order to find the ones that meet your specific investment criteria. The available filtering criteria is comprehensive. Stock Rover contains well over 700 screenable metrics which cover price and performance, financial and operational metrics, as well as sector and industry metrics. 
you can screen based on a simple threshold, or you can screen using equations. This equation is showing that earnings per share now must be greater than earnings per share for a trailing 12 month period going back one year. Below we see a preview of some of the stocks that meet the criteria. I'll click on the shortcut to the table layout. Here we see a list of the tickers that pass the screener along with the return values of the metrics used for screening. Let's take a closer look at the top 50 dividend growers screener. I'll select the screener and choose modify screener. This is an example of a ranked screener. The screener is configured to return up to 50 of the top tickers that meet the screener's criteria based on the ranking of these metrics. Let's go to the table. Here we see the top 50 tickers along with the return values of the metrics used for screening. A tooltip provides details as to how the ranking was determined. The Stock Rover Library comes with an extensive list of screeners which can be readily imported. You can use these screeners as is or change them to meet your specific investment criteria. A third key feature of Stock Rover is portfolios. You'll note that Stock Rover presents you with several options to get your portfolios into Stock Rover. You can either enter them in manually or you can establish a read-only data feed to your brokerages via Stock Rover's Brokerage Connect. Multiple portfolio support means you can analyze your portfolios individually or merge any combination of them together. I've selected the 20 top ESG companies portfolio. I imported this portfolio from the investor library. Let's select the table layout. Under views, I'll select the portfolio category and the portfolio performance view. I can see the gain and loss in dollars or as a percentage and more. Let's look at another view called basic valuation. Again, we'll select views, the valuation category and basic valuation. Not only do we see values for each equity, but a summary row at the bottom for the portfolio is weighted by the value of each holding in the portfolio. This is a really neat feature that Stock Rover does dynamically. For example, we can see the dollar weighted average PE ratio at the bottom of the second column. For a deeper dive, let's take a look at portfolio analytics. Let's make a bit of room. We'll collapse the start menu. Let's shrink the heat map. Let's sort by percent of total return. Note the heat map shows a tooltip for each holding. We can also configure how the tiles are sized and colored. Let's add a second portfolio into the mix and see what happens to that far right column. As you can see, now we're analyzing across portfolios. We can also project future income and perform correlation. We can also test out long-term expected portfolio growth under a variety of possible scenarios using future simulations. A fourth key feature of Stock Rover is Insights. We're going to stick with the 20 top ESG companies portfolio. I want to take a deeper dive into the equities in this portfolio. I've selected all layouts. We see three panels which include the table, the chart, and insights. Let's select Apple and see what happens to that insight panel on the far right. Notice the insight panel is now populated with all kinds of analytics, insights if you will, that are specific to Apple. We'll maximize the panel. We see price performance, fair value, and margin of safety. We also see Stock Rover's proprietary scoring and much more. 
selecting visuals, we see multiple tabs. Here I'm showing monthly returns. I can also see dividend information. Perhaps I'm interested in earnings information. News is also important to me. Or perhaps I'm interested in getting a better understanding of what the analyst community estimates are. Stock Rover also delivers access to financial statements. We see summary information and of course, income, balance sheet, cash flow, and more. I'm going to launch the research report. The report displays a wealth of information in a clear and concise format that can also be printed or readily exported as a PDF for review, printing, and dissemination. All the data provided by Stock Rover, including the analytics in the Insight Panel, is delivered when I request the information. I'm not getting stale or pre-prepared pages. A fifth key feature of Stock Rover is charting. We're going to stick with the 20 top ESG companies portfolio and we'll focus on charting Apple. You'll see that Stock Rover presents a whole suite of charting options. We're currently in all mode with Apple selected in the table and both the chart and the insight panel with Apple specific data. Let's select to show just the chart. We're currently charting the dividend adjusted return of Apple going back one year. You'll note Stock Rover goes as far back as 2007. I can compare Apple to a benchmark. We'll select the S&P 500. I can use the benchmark as a baseline. We can see that Apple has outperformed the S&P 500 by 1.6% over the last year. I can remove the benchmark. I can chart against other tickers. I can see if there are any earnings surprises. I can chart fundamentals. I can chart technicals. Let's add volume. Let's switch to a candlestick. Note also we can switch the candlestick time period. Let's go weekly. I can collapse charts. I can expand charts. I can move charts. Let's make a bit of room. I'll collapse these two charts. Let's take a closer look at a valuation chart. We'll select the football field. Let's expand it. The football field chart is truly unique to Stock Rover. Here we see key valuation metrics and their relation to their minimum and maximum values over the last year. The blue bar represents Apple's current value for each of the nine metrics. Let's expand the time period to five years. This graph provides a phenomenal amount of information in a clear and concise format, and that ultimately is what Stock Rover is all about. For more help and deeper dive videos, select Help under your Stock Rover username. Here you'll find the Help and the videos organized by topic. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that it has to offer. Thank you for watching.